Hello, I'm Mark, welcome to the channel. I'm going to be doing a solo wild camp today. There's Karen, she just dropped me off. I'm going up that way. Looking forward to this. This is the uh, Monmouth and Brecon Canal and we're at the uh, Clan Gunnada Lock. And I think there's a canal badge coming through now. Making my way up now when the views are starting to unfold. Like I said, it's tough going. Stayed in um, Clan Gatok last night, me and Karen. We had a night, a night in Dwimmen in um, Park Farm campsite. And I said to myself, don't drink as much the night before a hike. And what did I do? Drunk too much. I think it's coming out of my pores, in my skin. So note to self, don't drink too much the night before a hike. I'll learn one day. Bloody hell. Just stopped for a rest. Took my coat off. I'm absolutely boiling. Oh, sweat is dripping off me. Whew. warmer than it looks. Oh God. Oh.
can't beat the summer, can you? It's got to be my favourite time of the year. Well, I'd say most people's favourite favorite time of the year. You can't beat it. Out in the great outdoors. Just look at the skylarks. And listening to them, just flying over the ferns and I can't beat it. And you know summer's here when you see them and hear them. Love it. Oh, hello. He's gone. Or she's gone, I should say. Ah. there. He's the only bloke I've seen. Or the only person I've seen, shall I say. Apart from that, it's just me and the sheep. Just the way I like it. That didn't sound good, did it? Me, just me and the sheep. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Cut. Here we are, top of Tour of Oil. Back again for the second time. There's a central beacons over there. Whew. And the good thing is, it's not as windy as last time, so that's a bonus. There's a the Talabont Reservoir down there in the distance. And I'm going to try and find somewhere to pitch up for the night. Which is fairly flat. There's nothing worse than lying in a tent and it's sliding off your mat. So hopefully I'll find somewhere decent. Well, I'm thinking I might put the tent there. It's not perfect, but you've got all this spongy stuff underneath. So hopefully it'll be a nice bit of padding. A little dip there, so maybe I can lay in the dip. Well, let's give it a go and see what it's like. It's up with the wind as well, slightly, so plus I'll be waking up to that in the morning. How beautiful is that? Right, let's put the tent up. That's the tent all pitched up now, and tonight I'm going to be using my Van Gogh Nevis 200. It's supposed to be a two-man tent, but it's more of a one-man really with all your gear, so it's ideal for one night. It's not the flattest pitch in the world, but it's... Um, 
it's good enough. And it's got some pretty good views. So we're up to right. Yeah, as I said, it's the Vangle Nervous 200. And me and Karen uh, stayed in this in Cadillac Race last year. And for those who've seen that video, will know what an experience that was. And um, well, it was a bit cramped to say the least. So I wouldn't recommend two people in there if you're thinking of buying one of these. The only uh, retailer about 75, 80 quid, something like that. So yeah, not a bad little tent. And it's not that heavy, it's about 2, 2.2, 2.3 kilos, I think it is. So what I'll do now, I'll um, get my sleep set up, set up, and I'll show you what that's like. I'm gonna show you my sleep system now. First of all, what I've got is a silver foil. And it is the same size as my sleeping pad. And what it is, I work as a service engineer for a window company on new build housing sites. And they use that to, um, to insulate the, the cavities in the houses. So I've got that. Underneath is my um, insulation underneath, which should keep me warm. Then I've got this Anter Supply Co. inflatable mat, company from North Wales. They do a fair bit of camping gear. And what else I've got is the Trekology, a left 2.0 inflatable pillow. It's got the uh, the strap on the back. So that goes around the mat and that should stop it coming off. Which is a good idea I think. And that's the reason why I bought it. Then I got my Van Gogh sleeping bag. It's the Ultralight Pro 200. It's only a free season sleeping bag. And I wouldn't use that in the winter, but for this time of year, it's perfect. So I'll go on there, eventually. And that is my, and that's my sleep setup for this evening. Right, looking pretty good. Next uh, thing I'm going to do is get some food on the go. Tea time. Tonight's menu is adventure food. Minced beef hot pot. I'll give that a go. I haven't tried that one before. I've had the uh, adventure food chicken curry. That was nice. Also on the menu is the usual pepperami hot. Bounty protein bar and a Snickers protein bar. And the drink of choice tonight is the Herefordshire Fire Water. <sighs> Cheers. And to those people that say I don't mention Herefordshire, well, I just have. So let's get the jet boil on and get some water for my hot pot. And while the uh, jet boil is boiling, I'll just show you how beautiful this evening is. Kind of a bit of a sunset over there, and I've um, set up the GoPro for the time lapse. So if it's any good, I'll, I'll stick it in the video. I'm panning around. I hope the wind is not too noisy. Right here, it's got a bit of a, a bit of a dip, so I'm out slightly out of the wind. It's not that, it's not that windy anyway. Like, but so yeah, this is um, K 
Camp Twin Peaks for the night. Right, I put the uh, the water in the hot pot, give it a stir, and I'll let that stand now for 10 minutes, and then it should be ready. Dinner is served. Minced beef hot pot. Let's give this a try, is it? Gotta be fair. It's pretty nice, that. Eh? Mm. Can't say I've had hot pot before, but pretty decent. Welcome back guys, just have another couple of cans, chill out for a bit and then get my head down for the night. So um, good night, I'll see you in the morning. Morning. I just woke up now, I think it's five to five. And my bloody air mat went down on me. I felt this rock digging into my back. It's like sticking out the ground. Ugh. I didn't put the bloody valve back in properly, did I? I didn't clip it in properly. And it, it was flat, flat as a pancake. And that's why I woke me up. <laughs> so I've just blown it back up and I'm gonna have a... I have another hour. See you later. <laughs> Morning again. You guessed it. I can't sleep. <laughs> Once I wake up, that's it then. I try and go back off, but nine times out of ten, it doesn't happen. I'm gonna have a look outside now. Oh. Good thing about this tent, there's two doors, one either side, so. Oh, hang on. Let's use a tripod. Two hands of this job. Right. And there's my view. Check that out. Pretty good, isn't it? Look around here. There's a sun, sun rising in the east. <sighs> Tell you what, folks, life doesn't get better than this. That one with the great outdoors can't beat it. I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee, I think. Uh, uh, the state of me. <laughs> right, I'll go and get the jet boil on. <laughs> See you after. Coffee time.
breakfast today? A wayfarer. All day breakfast. I haven't tried that before, so I'll give her a go as well. Let's get the jet boy on again. <laughs> so what you do with these, you have to stick them in a pot and then add water. But what I do, well, first time I've done this by the way, but what I'm going to do is put that in there. Then add, then add the water, otherwise if you put water in then drop out of there, all the water might come up the top, so let's do it this way. And when that's done, I'll use the water for another brew. Clever thinking, see? Thinking all the time. Just put my down jacket on. It's a bit nippy up here. Do I look like the Michelin man? <laughs> well, if I do, that's what um, 10 weeks of lockdown did to me. God. Ooh, gotta get that off. <laughs> nice one. Enjoying this. Have I shown you that before? My cup cozy I made. Good, isn't it? I'll have to do a video on that to show you how to make them. <laughs> oh, that one. A way fairer breakfast. Gets a thumbs up from me. Nice, that is. You get like three sausages. Big, uh, big ration of bacon, and the rest is beans. So yeah, it's pretty good. Fair dues. And it says you can you can eat it hot or cold. You wouldn't have it cold, would you? Got to heat it up. It's like going into a cafe, isn't it, and saying, "I want a full English breakfast, but can you? Um, I want a stone cold, please." Don't make sense, does it? Anyway, heat it up guys, it's a way forward. <laughs> right, I suppose I better start thinking about packing up. Look at that though. You can never tire of that view, can you? Huh? Awesome, mate. Anyway. Pack on my gear up and I'll see you after. Welcome back. I'm all packed up now. Leave no trace. As you can see, which we always do. So, I'm going to head back down now. I won't do any more filming because you've already seen that on the way up, so nothing much to film now. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.